Well, a seven-foot robot who works as a hull monitor, electric cars, and a 50-foot-long plane. These are not coming from the research and development department of a major U.S. company. They're being built by students in one Orange County school. News 6's Clay Lepard takes us inside Lockhart Middle School, where students are getting hands-on with their education. Standing seven feet tall with a camera on top and movable arm <laughs> is Bob. That is the RoboCop. It patrols the hallways around our campus and keeps kids in class. Paris Robinson is one of the students here at Lockhart Middle School behind this brand new hall monitor. We hope the students will see it and be like, hey, I got to get to class and, you know, stay in class. They'll learn how to weld, design, and fabricate uh, items like a uh, RoboCop, electric cars, airplanes. You heard right. Students here also built electric cars. You have the throttle, the engine that's in here. You have the battery, and then you have the control system. And an airplane with a wingspan of more than 50 feet. This is the Horton Ho 229. These are some of the projects done by 170 students taking part in Project Lead the Way. Basically a year-long project that we've been working on, and today we finally brought it all together. These projects are all funded through grants with Lockheed Martin and Duke Energy, all meant to promote STEM education. It used to be just paperwork, you know, when we would be reading textbooks, but they're making a lot of the curriculum a lot, like, hands-on. Taking the education out of the classroom and into the future. In Orlando, Clay Lepard, Getting Results, News 6.